and I'm gonna air down with bro. Hello. With uh, we're going over the gameplay update 7.16. We're I'm trying to do an improved, faster version. I don't know how this is gonna work or if that's possible, but <laughs> we're going for it. It's gonna start running right away. The bounty runes. Um, hold on. I haven't ever fucking read the top. I just skimmed the patch notes. Oh, you didn't read the, the no. Notes? Yeah, upcoming patches patches will be mostly focused on balance tweaks and preparation in international. So they're not going to do that much. It sounds like. Yeah, just small small tweaks here and there, and yeah, as we go through it, you'll see. I mean, there's not like there aren't massive changes to any of these heroes like we saw before. Yeah. Like well, with, I, like IO I, IO right like all those changes to IO like you're not going to see that anymore. Okay. To a hero. So everybody's a lot more locked down, and even the patch after this patch, there'll probably be a lot less than uh, what we get below, I assume, because this yeah. feels kind of big. Yeah, there's there's a lot of small things, but like I said, they are right. they are small. I don't, I when I read through, I didn't feel like anything really like dramatically changed the meta. I think it just. It makes more heroes more like it, it. It allows more heroes to be viable in this meta. Okay. I think is really the big overall. But yep, I'm not gonna go. So reduce the falling movement speed talents. I'm not gonna read through them all. To keep this yeah. faster. Yeah, basically all of them got reduced, and they're. I, I think they're. I think it's all pretty good mm -hmm. for the most part. Like I play gyro a lot, and the 50 move speed seems a little broken to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, some of these being nerfed are, I think that's good. Yeah. Dark Willow had one, I think, but nobody uses it, I'm pretty sure, so I kept mm -hmm. it the way it is. Other than that, I don't remember one that's not on the list. So scrolling down further, because there's a lot of changes. Um, I didn't even notice this. I just scrolled the item changes my first go through. Increased base health power regen to 1.75 to the following agility heroes. So they just are trying to keep them in lane better because Slark's starting to get played. Yep. Yeah. No. And they and these are you look at these like the, like a couple of them have kind of been on the like edge of the meta. Others have been out right. Mm -hmm. And now this makes them a little bit better, more viable, especially when you, like you said for the lane right, which yeah. lanes are so important now. Yep, they basically did this to Slark, and now he's played constantly. So they think if they do that to these guys, I think they think they'll be played a lot more. And they're yep. probably right. That's a lot more health at the beginning yep. of the game, for sure. Um, melee barracks health increased. I'm kind of glad for that. I was sad when they made them all smaller for random no reason. They didn't really give you too much back. Yeah, um, no, and it's it's another thing to to um, mitigate the uh, the push strat. Okay. Right. So yeah. it's just it, it's more it's now a lot. And you can feel that 200 HP too. I feel like it feel it like I don't know like last couple of games I played they definitely uh, feels harder to kill, kill them all. Good. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think I've had that same issue too. The range seems to fall easier. Which one oh, fell range, easier like, before the range, melee the used to like fall paper, easier? Man. Okay. Yeah, before it was switched before, so the range used to be the difficult one, and the melee was the was the easy one. Okay. Because I remember it used to always be you would always try and take out the range racks first, versus the melee. So uh, it's interesting the Roshan attack damage upgrade over time increased. That means to every four minutes he's kind of nerfed. Though it's Rosh has been harder to take lately because of that. Yeah, which I think is stuff. good. It should be difficult. Yeah. So they made it easier for it to take. Yeah, so he well what happened was is they they essentially buffed everybody. They buffed yeah. all the heroes, but they didn't buff Roche, so Roche felt really easy to take. And then uh yeah, so now they've they he's slowly been uh increasing that, making okay. it more difficult. Gotcha. Oh, but it's me. it's the it's the it's the opposite though right now, right? Roche Roche on attack damage upgrade over time increased means off. I don't understand how this reads then. So, so his, four minutes, so, he's stronger than. So Roshan's attack, his damage, yeah, is, is is upgrading is higher over time than it was before. 
So he does more damage later for on. For a minute. Yeah. Okay. Instead of 2.5 a minute. Understood. Yeah. I thought he upgraded his damage every four minutes or something like this. I was reading that wrong. No, cool. every minute he gets four more attack damage. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I'm just skimming the things. Uh, that fixed the bug. No big deal. Mango got nerfed. It's yeah, because everybody's see, like, buying them. These are all small changes that I think make like mango definitely needed the nerf uh -huh. <clears throat> right i mean you saw like everybody was picking those up yep um blades of attack i think that's fine since phase boots are so strong right now and then like midas right nobody was picking up midas anymore now this i don't know if it makes it any more viable but it at least helps helps a little i would yeah right i'm gonna help yeah helps slightly uh moon shard i also agree with this the moon shard was like I don't know. It just felt like when you were picking that item up, you should get more for it. But agreed. Yeah, so. Moonshard feels like it needed more. Yeah. Rod is cheaper, a little bit cheaper. They made it expensive a little bit ago, more expensive. Yeah. Root, roots are getting so strong now too. Like that, this item, like Rod, I think this is gonna be like the new four staff soon. Yeah, with the way they changed root and the hero stuff below. Yep. Uh, Silver Edge, okay, it's cheaper. Skull Basher, cheaper. Vlad's. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Vlad's definitely needed this buff. I, I really like this a lot. I think it needs more, but um, it, this was a dead item, right? Like, Vlad's was just never... Yeah, no one was buying it. it. I, like, I, I very rarely saw, like... I'm just trying to think of, like, pro games. I think I saw, like, one Vlad's picked up, like, in all the pro games I've seen in the last, like, six months. So, it's definitely a, it's a pretty dead item, but... Okay. So, well, hopefully we'll see it more. <laughs> Yep, yep. So out, Grievous Greed, no big deal. Anti-Mage, base attack. Anti-Mage has basically been out of any game I've been watching. So he needs... He got that agility, or that um, health buff probably up above, right? Yep. You see in the list. And now he got a little bit more of a buff there. Arc Warden, da-da-da. Okay. Yeah, nice buffs just, again yeah. to those heroes. Bane nerfed a bit. Feels good because that's enfeebles fucking ridiculous. Yeah, that that spell with. is pretty broken. This this needed to happen. Yeah, still probably pretty ridiculous, but we'll yeah. see. That's a lot of seconds off of it, so it might be better, a lot better. Yeah, I mean, like you, yeah, I mean, still, you get two points up in it. Yeah, like Strong. it's still, <laughs> it's still basically a hundred percent uptime, right? Because it's an eight second cooldown. So yeah. It is it is a hundred percent uptime. So he just needs yeah. to be close enough to cast it. Yeah. Have the mana. But the but the cast range on it is huge. Yeah. Like I thought they nerfed it. that a little bit or just recently. To made it a little smaller than what it was. Is it I don't, it still seems ridiculous to me how yeah. long that is. Like relative to his other spells, like the sleep yeah. and the and the brain sap, he's gotta be pretty damn close. Versus Enfeeble is like half it's like he's a screen away, it feels like. Yeah. Blood Speaker ruptures a little stronger. Level 20, 10 talents. No big deal. Yeah. Probably helpful. He's not playing much. Bristle back, 25. That seems maybe good. I don't know. They're trying to make him more viable in the pro meta. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know about you. I see him in pub games all the time. It's like, I don't know. It seems to be like the new, like, well, it, you know, I just click these two buttons, you know, I just click Q and W and just run around like an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> like and it works, unfortunately. Yeah. In the pro yeah, games, they ignore you. Doing, it definitely works, for yeah. sure. Pro game, they just ignore you and kill your teammates. Exactly. Have a good day. Way to go there, Bristle. <laughs> <laughs> Spawn spiderlings. Health increased. The spiderlings felt a little weak. I liked it. I hate Brood, but yeah. they probably need to do that. Uh, Centaur rescaled. Okay, that's yeah, I good. Like the, I like this a lot, actually, because now I think you could get off uh, with his base int. I think it was only you could get, like, one stomp off level okay. one, and now I, I believe you can get two. All right. I actually got to – I'm going to look him up real quick. Yeah, 255 is his base mana. Okay. Yeah, then he definitely 
Yeah, so it was two. It was two sixty before. So now you can get two hoof stomps off level one, which I think is good. Yep, and the cooldown is thirteen seconds. Okay, so need to do okay. Okay, chaos knight barely changed. I don't know if that's gonna affect. He already seems to stun too much early on. Yeah, I I guess he. I don't know. He needs more than this. So I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I guess it's a nice buff, but I don't think it's really going to change much for him, for sure. So this is a uh, Clink's intelligence gain increased. Is that what that is? Sixteen plus yeah. one point five to eighteen to one point seven. Yeah. So he they increased his base int to eighteen, and then the the increase per level is higher. Yep. And I don't understand the strafe dodge no longer has a count limit. Like you just when you, you don't dodge, right? You mean you're shooting. So there was a there. So there was a number of attacks. So they they changed this a while back. I can't remember yeah. which patch, but there there was when they changed strafe so that you got the bonus attack speed yep. like you did before, but then you also got basically evasion as well. So you got. Um, any number like there I, I can't remember the number of attacks but there was a certain number of attacks that you could dodge that basically were dodged um, so you can dodge or you can't dodge now no you get so do you get through you basically have three and a half seconds it's like um wind run if you will oh weird and how but and what's his evasion at there do we even know what that it is so it's it's essentially a hundred percent evasion Oh. And he's been like this for a little bit? Yeah. But nobody plays clinks, so you don't yeah. really see it, you know? No, no, I've noticed it, like, probably two or it's three patches weird... ago, and I thought I was just fucking up and missing. No, no, it, it's a weird thing, too, because, like, I, for me, like, the way clinks is played as a hero, like, you're not, like, usually you're ganking, right? So, like... Mm -hmm. If as soon as you pop strafe on somebody, they're trying to run away. They're not trying to fight you. So I don't. I guess this makes that even more of a deterrent. But I don't know. It still feels. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Yeah, this helps. It should help. A bit. It, the int is nice because it allows them to cast spells more. Yep. And they nerfed clock. Clock didn't feel too overpowered. Um. <laughs> He felt a nuisance to deal with, but that feels bad for Clock. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't. I get. I guess that sucks, especially because you usually only put one point in it anyway. Yeah. It was sort of moving this way. Like this is the thing though. Like the way that they're, the way this skill is now. Like I don't. Like, the only benefit is. To skilling this up, now is for the mana and health drain increase, right? Yeah. Like, there's no other reason to... Does, like, because the duration, like, doesn't really matter. Like, five seconds to eight seconds. Like, you usually can kill a hero within that five seconds anyway once you cogs them. Yep. So, like, they already nerfed the attacks required. Like, that used to scale. So, that, uh, the cogs is feeling... Yeah, they're definitely... Sort of ruining this skill, I think. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It was. It felt like a good harassment tool, and now it's probably gone because even though eighty mana isn't that much, his mana pool is pretty small. That's why all his mana stuff was uh, pretty low. Yeah, I mean, and that's you know, as soon as you cogs and then you hit battery assault, and you like pretty much drained your mana. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, definitely hurts. You know, I, I keep telling you. Um, Crystal Maiden mid. Feels good, man. <laughs> it feels good. We're going to do a pub game, and you're going to watch I, me stomp mid. Dude, and... I tell you, that attack speed talent is no joke. Yeah. I got, I got wrecked by a Maiden the other day with that attack speed talent. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, when you go mid, you don't, you, you're going to build that much later because it's farther up in the tree. But, man, she can, uh, she can nuke the fuck out of you now. Yep. And then your last hits are going to miss because she's going to slow your attacks. Yep. It's going to be a bad mid until you rotate someone in and no, you should kill her. But because she can't run away. <laughs> no. She's like a sniper. <laughs> yeah. Worse. Worse, worse version. She has to be close. Yeah. yeah. Her attack range is decent, though. So 
that helps. Yeah. All right, Dark Willow, she's coming back. She's coming back. Did she need this though? Was she? Bad? I don't know, but I'm excited. I don't care. I didn't feel like she was bad. <laughs> like, I guess they I saw, stopped playing her. I read this. I read this one, and I was like, okay, they're buffing her. I don't really feel like she was bad. Yeah, it's her most important ability. It's more. It's a hard, It's harder to pull off than people think. It's more of a skill shot, um, because of the way it rotates around you. Yeah. And your placement, but I'm glad. Now it means I can kill more, yeah. more people. No, I like it. I think it's good. Yeah. Whatever. And dazzle slightly buffed all around. Yeah, strength increase is nice. Uh, the poison touch is a little nerfed. Yeah, it's nerfed early, so it it makes you it it um, incentivizes you to max it basically. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and it it was too strong early, honestly. Four seconds to right click oh, to reinitialize. Yeah, the, yeah, the first long two time. levels were were just were ridiculous. Yeah. Like if you put two levels in it, and it was like pretty hard to stay in lane. So I think this is fine. So we got a uh, death profit movement speed reduce. That's fine because she spirit siphons you. It sucks no matter what, and she's probably probably got you. Mana cost increase, so she's just getting nerfed. Yeah, I mean seventy to fifty-five. I mean, I didn't, it didn't really need to be reduced. In, I mean, I mean she, she has she has such a big in pool anyway. Like, I don't know. I think that's fine. Yeah, and her she definitely needed a move speed uh, nerf. Yeah, she's for sure. fast. Yeah, she gets super fast. Yeah, and oh, and God, thank God they nerfed the damage talent, too. I always thought that was, like, plus 50. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, she has such a slow attack, even later in game, that it didn't not always seem to matter too much. Yep. Disruptor nerfed. They don't like his Thunderstrike. Come on, guys. Disruptor's not played that often. The only people who are running at you with Disruptor is VP. Yeah. Grow up and deal with it. Big. Like three seconds. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely you can you, like I can think of cases where like that three seconds would mean the difference between a kill or not. Yeah. Um, but it's not like a very common thing. So. So four strikes, strike interval two. So it's eight s seconds. It was up time. Yeah. So you basically. Yeah. Just made sure it wasn't up as long when you're harassing. It's good. Her, it's about his only tool for harassment early on when you're in a lane that effing oh, sucks. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Right. Yep. So doom. Da da da. Damage reduced. Infernal blade was pretty strong. Scorched <laughs> earth. Yep. Movement speed reduced. Yeah. Probably a lot less doom here soon. I think the movement speed's gonna hurt him early on. Even though it's, it's it seems like a small number, those percents make a big difference. Yeah, I mean, Infernal Blade's still pretty damn strong. Yeah, especially since it interrupts, right? Well, that and the the stun, the mini stun, right? And then the yeah. the percentage, this percentage based damage is so good. Twenty five plus like, one point two five, and it scales. Yeah, yeah, it's up to five percent. Like that's it's massive once you have it maxed. And most people were maxing it anyway, so like. So that's sure. why, like, the. It's not. I, to me, it doesn't seem like. Uh, like, I think that's fine, the base damage being reduced. I yep. think that's the good nerf. It, the percentage base damage is really why you were maxing it anyway. So. Alright, Dragon Knife. Not changed, because you reduced. I guess he's going to be harder to mid, just barely. But yeah, it just puts more precedent on the Elder Dragon form, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know he got bonus movement speed when he turned to Dragon form until I read this. Oh, you did? 25 didn't. to 30? Yeah, I just had no clue. Oh. I just figured he was flying and moving the same speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but it is yeah. something. And Drow Ranger is not really played. I don't think this is going to make the difference. Plus four yeah, she damage. Needed, she needed it though. Her 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 like her early laning was terrible because her her base damage is so low. 
Her base damage didn't feel ridiculously low. It's just her attack point or whatever, how long it takes to get oh, the yeah. shot off and all that stuff feels bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, her attack speed. Her base attack speed's really Yeah, and the animation really to it. Yeah. Earthshaker armor increased a little bit. That's good. I want to see more Earthshakers out there. I like an Earthshaker. Um, Enchantress strength increased by one. Nature's Tendies mana cost reduced. All right. She hasn't yeah. really been played much. So. No, but that feels good. I think with that, I think she's a little bit more viable as a four. Okay. I think so. So I think you'll see that hero more. Enigma bounty reduced for your little Eidolons. That's good, I guess, when you make 30 at the end of the game. It's a little less gold you're giving to the team. Yep. Not too big of a deal. Gyrocopter. Yeah, nerfing my boy. <laughs> yeah. Down, just the call down one. Yeah, so he's early. Around he's early. still different. It, it, makes, it makes it harder for him to rotate now with these nerfs. So, like... The one nice thing about Gyro is he could be really active as a core. Mm -hmm. But if, like, that level one call down with less damage, like, it's going to be. It's gonna, it's just uh, it's harder for you to, to do those rotations and get those ganks early on. I want you to use other edgy heroes, hence the buffs to all the other ones. Well, yeah, exactly, right? So now it gets even harder. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, Huskar, life break increase. I don't I'm like not. this at all because I hate this hero. I just ne I never want him to be viable. I want him <laughs> to just keep being nerfed. I hate this. <laughs> no <It's>... more buffs. <laughs> I I have not played in a game where Huskar has gone rampant in a long time. He feels like uh, people know how I to deal with him. I have neither, but I still. But that's fine with me. I don't. I, don't, I never want him to be good. <laughs> Invoker. Everybody's playing F and Invoker because they saw this stupid thing that says Invoke Mana Cost Removed. And yeah. I hate playing against Invoker. I so I very, many I things. very rarely play against an Invoker who knows what they're doing. I, just so many things an Invoker can do. You don't need to buff them if they're good with them. Uh, oh, we, I was on a... I'm slide tracking. On against a team. I was with a Smurf. Like a Divine yeah. Five playing as somebody else just recently. I think I, I'm about to post the game here soon. And uh, he plays Meepo mid against the Invoker. And he gets his butt kicked because he's playing against another Smurf. It was so great. Oh, really? He was so mad. He was just livid. And he was going off on Kevin the whole game. And Kevin was just playing well. He was just blaming, you know, other people <laughs> that we were losing. But it was Smurf versus Smurf. And our Smurf got hosed. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad it was Smurf versus Smurf, though. That's yeah, cool. yeah, he totally was not ready for it. He just got yeah. slaughtered. He picked that mid. He knew it was kind of bad. It's yeah. like, no problem. But this guy just, this other guy tore us up. All right, IO base movement speed reduced. Okay. Yeah. IO's... I don't think that much matters, right? Because he's just too tethered almost all the time. So. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, when he's running away solo, he's going to cry a little bit harder. But that's about it. Yeah. Spirit damage, not a probably overpowered at ninety. Seventy five is probably still a little strong, but Yeah, I like this. That's level twenty change is huge. Plus twenty health regen. Or uh, from attacks teller allies, plus twenty health regen. Okay. Yeah, so did, did you see the uh the fanatic versus uh optic gaming? I don't think I did. I didn't catch all of their games. Yeah, so they went in with, uh, so, uh, who was it? It was uh, Eternal Envy and IO's Pilot Eye. Yeah. Poured in and basically threw backdoor protection because of this talent, the attacks tether allies target. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who Eternal Envy's hero was, but basically, like, they, they just shredded the buildings, even through backdoor protection regen. That's awesome. Yeah, so, like... <laughs> So it just shredded the building like it was just it was just one of those things where like this the game should never be played like this. <laughs> but still an option level twenty five. Yeah, that's fine. But the level tw at level twenty was broken, I think. It's such a strong skill. Especially yeah. like Okay. With certain heroes, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone pick it. 
Really? Yeah. I haven't mm-hmm. seen anyone pick it. Burn might have almost. I, I, he chose not to for some reason. Do he only attacks at the speed of his ally too, right? So as soon as they hit, he um, IO hits, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so but if you have certain heroes like a, like a Luna, say, I mean, they're ta- attacking like crazy. Yeah, and then you maybe Plus add you have damage. The, well, yeah, character. and you have the um, the empower the uh, not the empower, but the you know what I'm talking about what's that skill called? Overcharge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. yeah overcharge. So give you, you give them that. like you know max level seventy attack speed. And then you're giving yourself attack speed. I forgot about overcharge. Yeah. So overcharge. Well, overcharge gave you attack speed before too. But you're just taking whoever's max attack speed at that point. Well, yeah, you got attack speed, yeah, but you're giving the the important thing is is you're giving it to your your ally. Yep. Um, I don't understand this talent. Twenty five changed from plus fifty percent tide bringer cleave. Was it farther or stronger? It was stronger. To a uh, cooldown that's really quick. On Kunkka. Uh yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is. I don't play enough Kunkka to know if this is a big deal. I, I, the, the one minus one and a half seconds feels good though, because it's like what, at, at the low, at the, at max level, it's four second cooldown. Right. So now you're talking about two and a half second cooldown on a Tidebringer. Yeah, I don't know, but like that with seems... a crit, fifty percent stronger. I guess more often is probably better. Yeah. So, I guess the cleave was like, the AOE. Or was it just the da- uh, percentage damage? I think percentage damage. Oh, so it was like 150% cleave? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I think that was a lot. And since cleave is so much stronger against armor than other well, things... Well, it ignores armor, melt. right? Yeah, so it's, it's probably a nerf then, overall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still super viable. This is These things are... It feels like they saw VP and how they played all their heroes and they're like, we're going to nerf this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Because they're VP heroes, right? We don't want them to win everything. Well, it's not just VP, though. A lot of people have been playing Koka lately. Really? Okay. Hey, he's, just a str- he's a really strong hero. Like, it's... He's, he's got, got basically, he's got a, essentially an undispellable uh, skill with the X, right? So for yeah. positioning. Yeah, it can't be dispelled, right? And that there are skills, obviously, you can wait it out, but you can't can be dispelled. Guess with it, yeah. Right, and then he has a really nice stun slow with the torrent, and then the ghost ship with the the rum buff in particular. Like so many people, I feel like that's undervalued by a lot of players. But like that that rum buff is ridiculous, especially in these the team fights that that are now with so much burst happening. So, yeah. <laughs> so Lazarak the same hero as he was before except for his lightning's a little nerfed they're tired yeah. of less they gave him range again and they took it from him I think yeah. that's how the patches went so. yeah, just balancing that yeah he's back to where he kind of used to be mm-hmm. um, chain frost uh, I played a lich game my audio was fucking off on my mic sucked but it was a great lich game like my team was losing all the lanes, and I rotated and helped them come back in each lane individually. I'm actually, I'm surprised that we don't see more Lich already, like even in the in the pro meta in particular. Yeah, I, because I, it's such a lane focused, um, meta. Like mm-hmm. in the early game, like like Lich just destroys lanes, right? By taking by the with those denies, like those denies are massive. So. Yeah, and if you're already good at denying, yeah, you just secure that that wave to be wherever you want. Maybe they're so good at securing the wave they don't play them. You know, if they already have control over it, yeah, it doesn't. Well, then you do it in a losing lane. Yeah, it seems like Lich should be played. I don't. Know, it just I don't know. It just seems like one of those heroes that it, that is ignored but shouldn't be. To Maybe me, he just scales bad, and that's the problem. Maybe he's really good early, but he gives you no late game potential. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there are more summons, right? More mm-hmm. summons heroes played, and more like you know, Helm of the Dominator seems to be picked up a lot. So, obviously, Chain Frost loses its value because of that. But I, I still think he should be played more. All right, but, like in... know, hopefully this reminds people that he's he's a hero in the game, right? Yeah. 
Lycan is not intelligence reduced. I don't know how much intelligence he uses. I guess he screams or does that cry, whatever, a Cow. lot. Yeah, so that will probably hurt that a little bit. Yeah, small nurse. I don't think this is too big of a deal. Okay, Magnus matches Battle Fury. I'm just skipping past that. That's basically Empire, the same as Battle Fury. Yeah, see, this is, it's another thing where, like, I always assumed it just matched Battle Fury, but... <laughs> oh. Because uh, what was the other... There was another cleave. Oh, it was uh, uh, Sven's, right? Sven's, Sven's now matches Battle Fury. Yeah, they did that is to what make their lives like, easier. Cleave, like, the cleave, cleave should always be the same to me. Mm-hmm. Like, would it, would it, if it's on an item, if it's on an ability, like... So I think this is good. I like that. And I'm, I don't know if the pros like that, but it makes it easier to understand, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you just... Okay, I'm, I'm empowered. Like, I know... You know, yeah, exactly like you said. Like you just, you know what you're getting when you have it, or dealing with more. Yeah, like, be on the opposite side. I need to be back at least this far. Yeah, exactly. Um. Okay, it's by now fully works on invisible units. I thought it did before. Yeah, um, I thought. Or I it no, bugged. yeah, you could you could uh, did um, uh, disjoint it by going invis. I have seen that actually. So this this makes Earthbind a lot stronger. But if you already were invisible, picked you up, right? So it's this the transition. Yeah, I think it's in the transition. Okay. Yep. Interesting. It's how it's I invisibility this. and blink, which it always has. All right. So Marana, sort of tap speed sleep or uh, that's Increased. sixty. Yeah, that's gonna be big. And the moonlight shadow duration, that's big. <laughs> Yeah, I think that helps. I don't think she's. I think she needs a little bit more help. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, I'd like to see her get a base base damage increase. Okay. For because then she could actually last hit in the lane. Like it's so hard for her to last hit with her base damage. But she's, she's like a pretty good range. Ally. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Monkey King. Gets a little more armor when he's dancing with his buddies. Yeah, they keep buffing that. Mm hmm It felt... Uh, that was the game I was playing with Kevin, and he lived in a couple scenarios that I believe Monkey King would have usually died in. Yeah. So I think I think Monkey King's viable now. It felt it felt good. Uh, Morph. I don't understand this. Now only dispels on initial cast rather than on all toggles. So... Yeah, so when uh, he, when he morphed into like you could dispel, yeah, you know, it was negative. fucking cheap. <laughs> yeah, so th I think this is good. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. yeah, so it's a purge. Basically, he purges one thing. Yep. The first time, but he can't just during a team fight constantly purge on and off things. Exactly. Fight. That's good because that's ridiculous. Is what that is. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that that's really like that's more like just a bug that needed to be fixed, right? Yeah, or an accidental something they did and didn't notice until later. Attack yeah. point improved. Necro needs that. Um, takes so long for him to attack. Uh, we'll see if he's more viable after this, but that'll yeah. help a lot. Night Sucker nerfed. Yeah, no mini stun. That feels so bad. Yeah, because <laughs> it basically means like he's only he can only gank during the night essentially. Because that mini stun is massive. He still has the slow though, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But not being able to cancel TPs during the day just feels really bad. Yep. Since uh, darkness isn't as long as it used to be, basically it used to be the whole game when you had a night soccer in there. And the, I didn't know the set's fixed division. So if you have certain distance that's different than everybody else now, it's going to just be 25% less. That's interesting overall. Yeah. I thought it was bigger too. It felt 50%. Yeah. It, I think it's uh, it's a nerf, certainly. Uh -huh. um, but I think it makes sense because you had a few heroes with like night vision talents mm -hmm. that like just felt like you it would be no like if you're playing against a nice stock would be pointless to get because of that fixed um fixed amount reduction yeah but now with this you it doesn't um doesn't matter gotcha so it's like slark and luna 
Yeah. I think are two of them that have some night vision gains. They still keep those even though you're against them. You don't have yeah. to have them on your team. Yeah, so I think the percentage difference is, is good. Okay. Ogre, this will be big, actually. I think that 60% yeah. right off the bat is going to make Ogre strong. Yeah, I like this a lot. I think this is definitely a buff you needed. Because the multicast, you really need, like, the multicast is so important for this mm -hmm. hero. It's still a random thing, so it's going to feel yeah, bad I mean, when it doesn't hit. Yeah, it's still RNG, but you're still, you know, more times than not, you're going to get that 2x, right? Turning. Yeah. So I think that it just helps him better for uh, the late game. Because, like, you can see, like, right late, late in the game, he was really just a, he was a bloodlust. Is all he was. Now he can actually like, like his skill set just seems a little bit more viable. I think. Yeah, yeah. especially right away that sixty percent chance to do twice. That's that's good. Good. That's really good. <laughs> Needed. Pango. I like it. I like it. Um, I went uh, Pango game and I did the added the rolling thunder. Yeah. Thing. Duration. Yeah, two more seconds. It's just it's just that enough to get another stun or be that nuisance or run away so much longer. It feels good, especially with they brought the down at level twenty five. They added that cooldown them be minus thirty five. Maybe it was minus forty five before, but when they shortened it to sixteen seconds, it felt bad. Yeah, so it was thirty. So thirty five. So what's that? It's like a seventy second cooldown, right? I don't remember what it is. Can you look it up? Yeah. So I think I think it gets down to twenty five yeah. seconds now. Yeah, seventy second cooldown. So down to twenty five, which is seems awesome. <laughs> if he gets to that twenty five. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it too. I love this hero too. Mm -hmm. I don't really play him, but I like him. I like this hero. I want him to be good. Yeah. And the thirty attack speed, I I think he can be played in both roles. I don't think people do, but I think you can actually just play him as a right clicker and do fine. Yep. Um Phantom Assassin, I don't understand this at all. We're so, all... okay. Yeah, so there, um, so blur, so blur, right? So when, um, when you're, when you're not near from, when you're not near enemy heroes, right? You disappear from the mini map. Yep. So now, if you'll know, like, basically blur will trigger now if a real so like you can it's a buff essentially so if if she goes near a uh like an illusion walks up mm -hmm. she'll know it's an illusion because her blur won't be triggered oh, her blur won't be triggered won't be triggered yeah but so now she she'll know uh that if somebody's there's real near yeah yep. okay so kind of like a smoke. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. just for her to identify things. It's kind of... So she's been buffed, I guess. Yeah, small small buff. I think yeah. it's good. She knows the Slark's nearby and all that stuff, so, right? Yeah. She... Phantom Lancer Doppelganger can no longer be cast while rooted. Rip PL. Good night, I, PL. I love PL, and I think this is a nerf he needed. Because oh, doppelganger, be... doppelganger is such a strong skill. Yeah. And like I said, it's another. It's another like having roots is going to be mm -hmm. so important. They just buffed my girl CM with this. CM's going to show up, and you're going to die from a CL now. Exactly. Like <laughs> any, if you have a root, like like a CM, like you said, like that's super powerful. Now. Because now there's just there's so there's really no skills that get you out of root essentially, is it is the way it's going. Mm -hmm. It's been trending like that for like years almost. Phoenix Fire Spirits, a little bit damn more damage. Yep. They want to see good. that egg. They want to see you drop that egg. Yeah. You you uh you and me both like playing this hero, so yeah. I like that. Pudge Meat Hook. Um, Thank God, finally nerfed. <laughs> I mean, Pudge feels like he's getting nerfed this crap out of. He doesn't nah, feel he's... like a viable hero when you're against other good heroes. No, honestly, overall this is a buff because of the damage increase. 150 pure damage, level 1. Oh, I never like, saw that. Fuck yeah, I didn't that, read. dude. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want him to have his slow back, too. 
I like Pudge. Oh. Oh. I'm a Pudge player, man. Uh, Run from me. Can... I'm a big, slow, rotting, slow creep. Pudge, Pudge can hang out with Huskar. Just never be viable. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Neither war and mana increase. Okay. Yeah, the damage, damage. per mana. That's yeah. needed. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, you put down neither word, it's easy for them to get rid of in most cases, even when you hide it, because it just pings its damn position. That's what they need to do in neither word, is you, it doesn't light up. You just get blasted. Maybe neither would be OP then. Mm. That would be interesting. Yeah. yeah, so you have to at least look for it. Yep. Queen of Pain, level 25, talent improved. Okay. All right. Some spell block. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't. I think most wasn't the fear the other one, the other twenty five. Yeah, if one and a half second fear. I think most yeah. people get that that anyway. So everybody likes the fear. Yeah. So I don't really think that's any change at all, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to build I, it I guess, completely different to work it out. Yeah, I guess it makes it more attractive, but it's still. I don't know. Fear. The fear seems really good. I mean, one and a half seconds of fear, like that seems amazing. Yep. So, set traps for people. Ricky, base health power regen. Oh shit, that's a lot. Yeah, but they nerfed him. They nerfed his tricks and his cloak. So, so the blink. So it's like they gave him two nice buffs. Yeah. Right with the HP, and then the next one with the blink strike. But. Yeah, he nerfed his tricks of the trade, which I guess it needed, honestly. Yeah, that was a pretty strong skill, but the cloak, that's pretty big, actually. That's a long fade, but this will offset it. The 1.5 to 3 0. He has a lot of health regen issues. Like, I always, yeah. almost oh, yeah. always want to get tranquils. So, if I don't have to buy tranquils to be in Ricky. Well, do you remember? He used to, his uh, cloak and dagger used to give him give HP him regen. regen. Yeah. Yeah. Then they took that away. So, yeah, I think Ricky will be played a lot more. Just that, That's big. Yep. Sand King. Slow reduced. Okay. They yeah, probably no, shouldn't do that. Well, yeah. No, they kind of nerfed nerf. it already, though. With yeah. the, the denies. But thank God. That was yeah, a great change. <laughs> yeah, Caustic. Yeah, I agree. Caustic, yeah, Caustic is just a really strong yeah. skill set. So this, this is kind of a nerf. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's fine. Yeah, probably. Uh, but the, the the deny thing, I'm so glad they did that. You deny it doesn't happen. That was just stupid. Yep, agreed. That happened. Shadow fiend, twenty percent evasion, two percent, two two more soul per damage per soul. Kind of, he had that before, right? At, or did they take it away and add it back? I don't remember. Oh, okay. So now we're no, 25. it was twenty five. At twenty five, it was three damage. Mm -hmm. So they just changed it around. I don't know. I don't know if this makes it any more viable. I don't know. No, I mean it's gonna take it too any, long to get there. I guess it's a nerf overall, right? I don't know. I don't really play the hero enough to. If you're against right clickers, it's a nerf, but yeah. It's a nerf later yeah, having, on. But having it earlier, earlier seems good, right? It seems yeah. better for the mid game. So. I think it's probably a buff. Minus yeah. five, because then you could go with minus five armor, and that's probably bigger than adding three damage, honestly, per soul. Yep. Especially if your team's there right clicking while the aura's present. There's. A better chance to get more out of it. Last word. Buffed a little bit. A Craig Curse. Damage increase. So just two little buffs. Yeah, that feels good. Silencer need a little bit more. Yeah, Silencer just he if he needs some movement speed. He has a hard time dealing with I guess he slows you so much. Mm. Yeah, I mean the slow is nice, but yeah, he I agree. He needs more movement speed. Like he needs like you know what he needs is this skill needs to give like needs to be like chilling touch where mm -hmm. like it's moving slow and then you get movement gain. I kind of like that, but maybe it's Ooh. just then, then it's just another chilling touch. I guess I don't know. 
yeah, probably not a good idea. But there's tons of slows, so I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. Slardar, Bash of the Deep. Damage increase. That needs to happen because nobody levels it right away. <laughs> no, I like yeah. it. I any I love like Slardar feels so good right now, so any more buffs to him just feels good. Pounce damage reduced. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna make a huge difference. No, you, you don't didn't really, really feel you didn't, it. You didn't get that skill for that. <laughs> for no. the damage. For the lockdown is what you got it for. Yeah. Night vision increased. That's big. That's really, really big. I did not realize this happened. Yeah. I didn't. Yep. Did he always have a really good night vision, or better than normal night vision? Isn't that better than normal? It's better than normal, yeah. But now it's really, really good. Weird. I never knew yep. he had better than normal night vision. These patches are teaching me the game, basically. <laughs> Uh, Spirit Breaker, uh, base regen, increased a little bit, needs it so he can roam better. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to be that much more viable, though. Sven, um, Stormhammer nerfed, and stun duration, ooh, increased. Level 25, oh, that's just a tree thing, so the people probably won't get that. Yeah, you're not going to get that. 40 God Strength. Yeah, so I think I this actually, to me, when I see this, uh -huh. like it makes me want to play him as a 4. <laughs> like I, I know these are level 20 and 25 talents, but mm -hmm. but they definitely, like to me, like I look at his talents, it, like, it almost makes me want to get, basically do all the Stormhammer talents. So Stormhammer yeah. Dispels, Stormhammer Cooldown, now the stun, like... And just do those for as a four. Yeah. Like that build feels like it would be really good, really strong. Yeah, two mana regen, hammer dispels. Yeah, why not? We should do that. We should do that. Tiny. Yeah. They rebuffed it because they Yeah, they rebuffed it, it essentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could see nobody was playing him anymore. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, I think I think you'll see him on the off lane again with this. It's just against buildings, though. He's still going to be nerfed with uh, the right click because he. The big thing was his splash damage is less than what it used to be for tree grab. Well, now it's back increased to 130. Well, now the bonus damage, 10, 20, 40, 30 percent. Okay. No, the splash damage was uh, larger before, and that shrunk. Now it's only building damage, right? Oh, oh okay, I see what you're saying. So they oh, just yeah, changed that's right. it. That's right, yeah, it was like 100%? Uh, yeah. yeah, and then they okay, nerfed, yeah, yeah. I think, and that's what made him really strong, and that's still weak, so I don't know. I mean, it makes him better at taking objectives, so that's good. Yep. And you can always just throw your tree at buildings now and do a lot more damage to the tree. All right, tree and protector, living armor regen increase. That's fine. Not that much. Barely anything. Yeah, he needs more. <laughs> yeah. Ice shards, cooldown increased. All right. Yeah. They like the, yeah, they don't like the Tusky. Undying. Zundine just keeps getting better and better. I can't believe it because Zundine's getting played more often thanks to PPD, basically. Well, he's good. Like, I actually, you know, I, I had, I think it was the, yeah, cavern, doing a cavern crawl. It was like, you know, Undying was my next hero. So I was like, uh -huh. shit, I haven't played him in a while. And I played him. I was like, this feels so good. He's so good. I think he was always extremely good at our level because of the the tomb people don't know how to handle tombstone and let you steal too much from them. Well, that like and it's been buffed, right? And then yeah. the the decay because of the dual lanes now, you're always getting like two man rips, mm -hmm. and you do like you do so much damage early on in the game. Yeah, so it's much ridiculous. health. Yeah, and and that it's cheaper. I mean, it was expensive to cast, so I'm I'm on board. I'm on board. Keep, I gotta keep it moving. Ursa, do do do. Don't un, I haven't read any of this shit on Ursa. Uh, they basically just like moved talents around. Okay. Essentially, um, I don't think it makes him any more viable than he was before. He's still a pretty bad hero, <laughs> right now. 
What was his plus twenty five seconds fury swipes reset time is really big. If he could have that level ten, he'd be a nightmare. So I don't know what you do with him. Um, yeah, that's probably good. Uh, vengeful spirit, magic missile cooldown reduced. Okay, Venge is Venge is getting. Um, this is good. Buff to Venge. Yeah, Let's which I need, I actually don't think she needed. She's super strong now. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't see people playing her. I know, which is crazy because every time I see her play, she wins. Like. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a hero needs to be played more. And they, yeah, in other words, it's like him and her and the Lich, you know? Yep. Weaver. Weaver. Suscucci damage slightly buffed. Not a big deal. Just annoying. Suscucci. I hate you. Went to Ryver and I, I'm glad they keep. Uh, Dude, his buffing. slows, right? Mm -hmm. So now you have Splinter Blast, yep. right? So level one Splinter Blast, 30% slow. And you yep. have uh, 22% slow for the Arctic Burn level one, right? Like you get you get two points in that plus the Winter Splinter Blast. Like you can mm -hmm. kill in lane all the time. Like it's ridiculous. 60% movement speed reduction. Like, come on. That's a long time though, right? How long is it applied for? Four seconds. Is this yeah. one? Is the other one? How long is the other one applied for? Oh, the uh, <laughs> the Arctic Burn uh, yeah. uh, burn duration five seconds. Okay. So, yeah. So it's That's... 58. So it's, it's 28 percent level two. Like so, in three levels, like you get level three, you can slow people for 58 percent movement speed reduction. Like that's crazy. It's so good. More winter. Uh, mortal wraith king. <laughs> I don't understand this stuff too for for the wraith. Yeah. So the way it was before was so mortal strike. If you got a crit. Yeah. Which is why a lot of people always build chrysalis. Yeah. So if you get a crit, then it 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 basically one shots the creeps. It doesn't matter what the damage was. Okay. Or, um, or what the creep is, it'll it'll one shot them. I didn't. Okay. So I it was it was super strong for farming. I didn't know it one shot it. I thought it just gave you that three hundred percent damage, but that no, makes sense like, because when people glyphed. A creep would die when yeah. I was playing Wraith King, and I was like, "That was unfair." Yeah, because he could one because he, he just one shots them. Yeah. Okay. All right. On oh, then, Mortal Strike Skeleton count rescaled. No big deal. Mortal Strike Skeleton's bounty reduced. That's kind of unfair. I think if you're gonna, I guess they kind of go wherever they want. So, Mortal Strike mana cost reduced. It's a buffed kind of overall, except for the creep thing. It, I think it, I think it's ba it's just balanced. Okay. Like it's it is it's buffed and nerfed at the same time. I think it just balances it to where it, um, it you want to. Well, that's the thing is like I would say you want to max it, I guess, but mm -hmm. to get the max skeleton, so now you get eight, you get one more. But you do, but then you have the scaling at mana, so it sort of perturbs you. I don't know. I mean, it, the two. I think the big thing is the two. The two kills per charge is pretty big. Yeah, I guess the Mortal Strike no longer has a chance to kill creeps. It's no longer instant kills in the jungle too. So you're probably nerfed. Yeah, I mean overall, yeah. I think with the no longer one shotting, I think yeah. that's pretty big. And probably bad if I didn't Chen. Would that be a nightmare for Chen? You just go up and you just first right click, you kill his yeah. biggest creep. Kill all his creeps, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Zeus. Space damage increased, strength gain and reduced. Uh, that's fine. Um, uh, Arc Lightning yeah, rescaled is bad. Yeah. He really needs that um, to be 85. It's hard. It's not as easy as people think to pull off because you kind of have to right click and then deliver it to get there in time this arc lightning thing is gonna hurt zeus a lot yeah even with the base damage yeah the lightning bolt's gonna feel better yeah but that feels good now yeah range increase is pretty big 
The range increase is the most important part of that buff yep. over the damage. Yep. Keeping you keeping you away from the fights. Alright, that's it. It's all it is, man. It's all it is. So seven point one six update. I'm gonna put up the, the video that we finally did uh, a little while ago today, and then hopefully maybe I'll put this up tonight once it's loaded. So I'm gonna spam the bro. Spam the bro. Spam the bro. All right, see you guys. Yeah, later.